Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Do What You Love. My name is Missy. Today is the very first day of fall, so happy autumn solstice. By the time you guys see this video, it'll be a couple days in, but still, it is the beginning of fall, and I thought what a wonderful way to start the fall season than with a project share. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but I think we're gonna get our feet wet with a tag flip because it's something just very simple and easy. And I think you guys will enjoy it. And because it's the end of the September, I think it would be fitting to do a Halloween one. So don't worry, at the end of this video, I will give you all the rules and things that you have to do in order to enter into the project share. Believe me, they're not hard or anything like that. And then I'm also gonna show you a few little ideas that you guys can use to make your own if you're interested in joining the project share, but you're just not sure how to make a tag flip of your own. So just to give you an example, I'm going to quickly show you um, the one I put together. Just forewarned, I'm not gonna pull every single thing out of this tag just for the sake of time, but a quick flip through, you're going to get like an idea of what they are. And a tag flip is basically um, a tag version of like, a, a flip book. It's just a space that's decorated and beautiful and pretty where you can tuck goodies in for your pal that's receiving it. So I always start my tag flip off, my tag flips off with a personalized letter. Um, mine just flips out. And of course I know you guys aren't going to know the person that's receiving your tag. So you can always address it like lovey, hello, spooky friend, hello friend, whatever. It doesn't have to have a name but I just think it's a nice little touch to put a letter on the first one. Then when you flip this open, of course I have a pocket already, and some of the things like I put in these um, is my homemade paper clips, which this is one, and a little tag that says Happy Halloween, and like some stickers, and then of course like washi samples, um, homemade um, ephemera, um, homemade embellishments you can do um, oh, guys you can fill these up with so many things so it's just all in what your liking is but like here's an example I did this one instead of a pocket I did a tuck spot and like here is one of my homemade embellishments so they're gonna receive an embellishment from me that says spooky I love that owl and then underneath is stickers and then of course the tag itself is decorated because once they remove all the fun goodies you're going to want to leave them with a pretty tag left behind so that's just an idea of some of the things that you can stuff these with people do all different kinds of things it's whatever you really like to do and then like when you flip this one back over on this side I attached um, as you can see some washi samples and then like on this one, I made like a little tuck spot here with some mixed media. I did inking all up in here. And then of course, underneath is tucked some embellishments. So, or ephemera, if that's where you want to put it. Because I didn't make these, so I guess this would be called ephemera would be a better word for them. But just things of that nature. And that's what your tag flip is basically about. You're just making pretty tags that have spaces where you can either tuck or stick or... Um, make a pocket to put um, cute little giveaways, if you will, to your friend, whoever is going to receive your tag flip. And you go all out. You can embellish your tags as much as you want. Um, you can do scenes on them, whatever you like. And I just did mine in all different ways. So like the little tuck spot here is off to the side. So off to the side is where the goodies are. Like here's another one of my homemade embellishments just for Halloween and some a more ephemera stuck in there. And I tucked this one off to the side, but then like this one, I made a regular pocket and the ephemera and um, stickers and such are inside tucked in. And then like when you flip this one over, here's another pocket, here's some more. Like I can see stickers, some embellishments. Here's another one of my homemade paper clips. This is one of my favorite tags. This is another thing I like to do. I printed out some pictures from the internet, if you will. I backed them on cardstock and then I made um, things that match it. So here we know these are the sisters from Hocus Pocus. I found these, I printed them out, I laminated them so they'll stay nice. You can turn these into paper clips, use them however you want, but all three sisters are in this one, in this little pocket. So it's just however you want to do these. Here's one where I just made a band and stuck ephemera or die cuts in it. 
This one, I did a bat that stretched through and tucked things in, and like this one has some ephemera in the back. Here's some bling, and here is another one of my homemade um, embellishments. So it's however you guys want to fill them, and there's no particular size. I mean, you're like, this is the smallest I would go. I wouldn't go any smaller in tags than this because you're not gonna be able to fill them which we'll get into those details in a minute, but this is a great size, I, I feel anyways. But, um, and then the last side is another pocket. Here's another one of my homemade paper clips, and then there's some ephemera in the back of that as well. And then, of course, I attached some of my, um, whatever you wanna call these. Now, the, now, this, as you can tell, this is something that came from the Dollar Tree, but I just added to it, I put my own beading I attached my own beading onto that. These are like pretty dangles. And then I made like another dangle out of um, Halloween ribbon that I got from the DT and attached it off to the side. So, so here's the tag and then the dangle can go in the front of it like that. So when they receive it, that's how it'll look. So that's just, I moved the camera, I'm sorry guys. That's just an idea of what a tag flip will look like and of course guys you can make yours bigger than this you know you can make your tags longer i wouldn't make them much i would not make them shorter and i would not make them less wide but they can go a little longer if you'd like you have to leave room on your tag flips in order to put things on them like you should you know you don't want to make a tag flip that's like only this size you're not going to be able to be able to send your friend who's ever receiving your tag um embellishments and goodies so just keep that in mind when you're making your tag flip to keep that at a decent size I'm not going to give you exact measurements because I want you to be able to use your own creativity and not put like like rules on it and then you feel confined like you can't move out of it because I know personally when I do project shares I don't like that I like to be as free as I can in my crafting, but there are some standards that you have to meet. For instance, your tag has to be wide enough and long enough for you to be able to put um, goodies to send to your friend in it. And that really is the only stipulation with that. Some little hints, I ruined two tags doing this, is, is keep in mind that when you're looking at the front part of the tag, <laughs> the smaller edge goes at the top. But when you flip your tag, remember now that you have to kind of reverse everything because if you would put if you would put your sticker like this over here, it's gonna be upside down when you flip over your tag. So just keep that in mind so that when you flip your tag, <laughs> everything's facing the right way. And then other than that, guys, you just have a really, really, really good time. And I just wanted to give you some um, quick little t like hints and tips on how to make these if you would really like to make one and join the project share but you've never done it before so just give me a second and I'm going to pull out some things okay so one of the things that I wanted to get right out of the way is that you can get these book rings from the Dollar Tree I used a large um book ring to I don't know I guess I've used the big one because I thought it would be easier like because as you fill your tags, they're, they're going to get thick. So I figured the bigger ones would be better. But they also have a smaller one, if you would rather have smaller ones. But these are both a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And I think they work fantastic for um, tag flips. Because all you just have to do is open them and you stick the tags on. And it's great. But if you didn't like these, of course, you can use ribbon. You know, all, all kinds of ribbons and stuff like that. And you can get all these different kinds of ribbons and stuff like that from the Dollar Tree as well. You can get a whole roll. As a matter of fact, I think I have one in here to show you. Like here's one I got from the DT. And it's a dollar. So if you prefer to put your tag flip together with like you have some leftover ribbon around, you are free to go ahead and use that. Just make sure it's secure and your tag flip isn't going to come apart. But like I said, you can also get the book rings from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's whatever your preference is. I prefer these because I know my tag flip is going to stay together. Here are two of my spare um, tags. I might make another one because I enjoy making these. But I just wanted to show you how basic they are. It's just a I used double-sided paper so that I didn't have to put 
you know, another sheet of paper on the back. So I do suggest using double-sided cardstock. It just saves you time because you don't have to double, you know, you don't have to put glue another sheet of paper on the back there. You know, there's already, there's already a print on both sides. So that's just a suggestion. Use double-sided cardstock and just make sure that you hole punch all of your tags in the exact same place before you begin to decorate and add your pockets. Those are like my two biggest tips is make sure you cut all of your tags the exact same size and then when you punch the hole just keep punching the hole in the exact same place and all I do is as I make a tag I put it on top of the tag I just punch the hole in and then punch them together and I keep adding to make sure that they are in the exact same place but this is a great size as you can see to do your tag and as you can see it's pretty much like the size of my hand it's like hand length I keep moving the camera I'm sorry it's like hand length See, it fits like right in the palm of your hand. To me, that's a perfect size tag. But whatever you're comfortable with, I just wouldn't go any smaller than this. I don't think you'll be able to have very many goodies on your tags if you go any smaller than this. And then just some things like I showed you in there. I keep all of my scrap paper because when you're doing these tag flips, these scrap piece of papers make great pockets because they're like the perfect size. Um, embellishments anything like of that nature all kinds of little cutouts embellishments here's another one of my homemade embellishments little cutouts like this would make a cute little pocket like that would make a cute little pocket in the back of the tag and you can stick like that underneath of it like with this little homemade embellishment you know what I mean like that's perfect so things of that nature anything that you did um, that's homemade here's some of my homemade um, little boy and girl I made, a little Halloween boy and girl. I made them like Frankenstein, stuff like this. I use these kinds of things as bookmarks in my books. Um, homemade paper clips, that's just a foam sticker that I hot glued a paper clip to. That's it, simple, ephemera. Guys, it is so simple. Just stuff these with whatever you want. Some washi samples, cute stickers. I printed things off of um, the internet, like I said. I love this one because I'm a big, <laughs> I'm, a pretty, I'm a big Walking Dead fan. We'll just put it that way. And I like Negan. So this year I'm gonna dress up as Negan for Halloween and tell all the other kids that half their candy is mine. And if you watch The Walking Dead, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I like printing these things off and then I back them on another piece of paper and then that'll make it a little wider and then you can use that as you know a little pocket to put stuff in so however you want to do it there's just some ideas on the things that you can put in your tag flip to send to whoever receives your tag now we're going to get into the legalistic things of it if you will okay so i'm going to go through this as easily and simply those are not even words but you know what I mean, as possible. Remember guys, if I go really fast or you think you missed something, please check the drop down box. It will have the information plus the address of where you're going to be sending your tag flip. So the first thing is first is that you have to mail these out because of how much they weigh. Everything changed in the post office boxes and the way post office does things now. So you're gonna have to mail these out in a medium size manila envelope. The basic amount I guess we should put minimum is three dollars what automatically because it's a it's a medium sized manila envelope they are three dollars to mail out so I want you to be very aware that it's going to cost you six dollars to participate that it's going to cost you three dollars to send your tag flip to me and then when I get your tag flip I'm going to show it here on my channel tell everybody all about the beautiful thing that you created and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick your tag flip and give it to somebody else who sent their tag flip in. And then I'm going to mail you back their tag flip. And that's how you're going to get a brand new tag flip with all new goodies for yourself. So because I'm mailing something back to you, you also have to send with your tag flip another manila envelope folded in half with another $3 postage on it. So you have to mail yours out with a $3 postage and inside with your tag flip have another folded medium-sized manila envelope with a $3 postage already on it. 
if you do not send your postage in, I am not going to be sending you back a tag flip. This is one of the things that I ran into trouble with in doing these project shares and I really don't wanna quit doing project shares because people don't send in their postage. If you want to participate, just be aware that it's going to cost you $6. I'm going to say it one more time. $3 to send it and $3 for me to mail back to you your brand new tag flip from someone else that mailed in. And guys, there's usually, I, I've never in my entire years of doing project shares, I've never not had one to mail back to somebody. I've always, always worked out. Some, like when I first started doing these, I would get 50 or 60 entries and I always had enough to mix it up and everybody got something and it always worked out great. The only thing is, is some people wouldn't send in their postage. And then if you guys don't send in your postage, then I have to float it to send it back to you. And, you know, if I have 10, 15 people who do that, it can be very costly on my end. And then that discourages me from doing these project shares. And I know how much you guys love them because I'm like your middleman. You guys don't know each other, but I'm the middleman because you guys watch me. And then because you watch me, I can be your middleman and you can get goodies from somebody else. So it's like happy mail. I'm just dispersing it for you. And the added bonus is, is that the, everybody who watches my channel gets to see your work on my channel. Because as you mail in your tag flip, what I'm going to do different this year is I'm actually going to unbox your tag flips live here on YouTube. So instead of doing a pre-recorded video, I think it's going to be fun to get mail and unbox it live here on YouTube. So as you send in your tag flips, please be aware that they are going to be shown on my channel and that they are going to somebody else. So that really is the only big logistic thing that I have is please make sure you send enough postage. Those envelopes require $3, but it's because it's paper. I don't think it's going to be much more than that. So just make sure you have a $3 posted envelope on the inside with your tag flip so that I can mail you back your new tag flip from one of the lovies that watch do what you love and when you see the project share announcement videos down below make sure you watch them because it may very well be your tag flip that I'm unboxing live on YouTube I just think it'd be really fun to do um the unboxing of these tags live. Let me know what you think down below. Would you rather me do a pre-recorded video so that you can watch it whenever, or do you think live would be fun? Because I even think if you do lives, um, YouTube still holds on to them. You won't be watching them live. You'll just be watching the after effect, but you still can watch the video later at your leisure. But I really think it'd be fun to do live. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But guys, really and truly, that's it. That's it. The only thing I, other thing I ask is that no less than five tags because I think that'll be, if we all do five tags, everybody's gonna get the same amount of tags and everybody should get about the same amount of goodies. I don't want people to feel like, well, I sent a ton and I hardly got any back. So a minimum of five tags because that's really 10 sides and make sure they're a decent size and length, add some pretties to it and just make sure that you add a folded manila envelope with at least, well, no, not at least, it has to be a $3 um, postage. That's the minimum on those manila envelopes is $3. Not my doing, guys. We used to be able to do these things for very cheap, but the post office changed all their things and now just to send a medium-sized manila envelope, it's $3 plus. But I think because it's paper, we'll be safe with $3. So... I hope that made sense. I hope I didn't sound too bossy. <laughs> I just really want these project shares to be a success and I don't want um, anybody to be upset. I, I really want these to take off because I know they're a great way for all of us to be connected. And the crafting community is such a wonderful community and to keep us all like connected and we get to receive happy mail and things like that from each other. It's really exciting and it's a lot of fun and it gives you something to look forward to. So I really want it to be a success. And for me, I think those are two just very simple things. Just make sure you stuff your, your, your tags, make sure they're a decent side, make sure there are five tags at least, and just make sure you send me that manila envelope with a $3 postage. So now that I repeated myself 15 times, I think we're good to go. If you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. I will get back to you ASAP. 
check the Dropbox. It'll reconfirm everything I just said, the address where you're mailing these, and any other kind of thing that may be missed throughout this video. And like I said, if you have a question, just ask me down below in the comment box. So that's it, guys. We are entering into our first project share for the spooky month. I hope you guys like what I chose. I hope you guys get excited, and I hope you participate. Let me know down in the comments as well if you're going to do this because that just gets me so excited. I get so excited when people are like, yes, I'm doing this. <laughs> it makes my day. But anyways, guys, I'm going to quit rambling. You have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Be excited. Get excited. And remember to always do what you love. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.